Hello, everybody. Today we got a uh, mail call from Mr. Mike Dyson. So, uh, well, this video will be posted well, well, I'm filming this Monday. Let me see, you guys will see it Thursday. So, he probably has my package already, and he probably had his video up. So, you guys have probably seen that. But, uh, now I guess it's my turn to show what he has sent. So, some custom, some cars I could use for spare parts, and uh, just some castings that I like. So, we're going to go through them. He made these, like, uh, custom cards. So, we got two NSX here that he wheel swapped. Oh, yeah, this one's falling off. We got the... Uh, this one's got orange wheels. Like that. And this one with the blue wheels. We won't take that one off the card though. Off the temporary card <laughs> that he's created. He's challenged, well, I guess quote unquote challenged me to keep this video under 20 minutes. We'll see if I can. I can't make any promises. But then he has sent these Ninja Turtle paddy wagons. There's three of them. I said I could use them for spare parts. There's the three of them. So let's we'll see what I can do with them. All different wheels. I can use the wheels. Maybe. I'm not sure if I like those saw blade type wheels. These wheels I could probably use. I think they're off the NSX, maybe, they're close to the one, no, the NSX had different wheels, um, here the card and stuff's gonna take up space, we can keep the NSX, then there was this, I remember this, it is a, uh, I think it's supposed to be a Toyota Hilux, or maybe a Nissan Hardbody, or maybe it's a Dodge, I can't tell. Uh, just one of those very cheap, no-name castings that I'm going to try to customize. We'll do something with it. We can, like, uh, maybe slam it to the ground or something. Because I can make a new base for it. And speaking of new bases, we have this. This is a Johnny Lightning Mitsubishi Evo that he tried to take the wheels off of and the base like crumbled apart. I think the pieces are in here. Um, yeah, the pieces are all in here. I could try to put it together, but I think I may be better off just making a new base for it. Or maybe I could keep this part. Is that, well, the wheel axle is there. I might be able to just keep this, put some rear wheels on it. So that way we have the exhaust. I don't know. I got to figure it out. Although the front, the front piece is uh, not reusable. So maybe I can make a new base for it. That would be pretty good. We could use this for some spare parts. And we can make a bed cover for the truck. That'd be cool. A little bed cover. And sand this down. So, yeah, tons of possibilities. Oh, God. Got stuck. So, there are possibilities there. What else? Go to the next row. Any, he uh, put dividers in this box to help store cars, which is really helpful. This is, uh, so this is the twenty four seven. It is a fantasy Hot Wheels casting on a Celica card, but this uh, this twenty four seven is built to loosely resemble an RX seven with the Velside kit. So it is a very loose Velside RX-7. I don't think Hot Wheels could actually get the license for it. So they just did this. But it works. And I could, if I wanted to, I could repaint it to make it look like the Velside RX-7. Which would be cool. But yeah, it sits on the... 
Well, he's got some of these cars on different cards. So. And let's see. Let's see. Here we have a Ford GT40 on a diesel card. I think it's a, uh, I forget the, what it's called. Oh, you know what? I can look at the base. Yeah, it's the GT40 Mark V. These wheels actually work on it. I like the white wheels with the white trim and such. That looks good. So we'll put that to the side and can stick it on the other side of the box. So yeah, tons of customs that I could do. And here we have a my stove my my stove. Oh no no, I was looking at the wheels. It's the Hot Wheels RX7 with my stove wheels on it that he got off of Buick Grand National. And honestly, those wheels don't look terrible on here. They are very similar to what would actually come on the real car, although the Hot Wheel ones are more accurate. But they are quite similar. I just want to take them off. It looks really good like that. I think it's great. Uh, we saw that car already. Uh, what's next? Oh, here we have a Lotus... The Lotus Esprit S1 in green. I really like the green color. Uh, I can't see it in the blister. So we should take this one off too. The blister's a bit dirty. Wheels can get cleaned up a bit. And right, we can make this look very nice. Tail lights, we can detail the tail lights, we can detail the front end. It has pop-up headlights and we can't detail much there. Maybe I can change the wheels or maybe I can keep these wheels. Who knows? Oh, there's the Lotus. I don't think the gold wheels look terrible on the green paint. Here we have, what does this say? Uh, it's the uh, Benz. It's facing the other way. The Benz A-Class? Yeah, the A-Class. With black wheels. Looks very good with the black wheels. Originally had like a little bit of chrome wheels, but all black with the gray, I think that looks really good. Here. Oh, here is a Honda CRX. This one's still on the card. Very nice. I look one of my favorite castings from Hot Wheels. One of the fa one of my favorite like uh, to come out of the past couple of years. CRX is a very good, very nice casting. Seems like the blister. It's got a large blister. There's another one in here. Yeah, for some reason this blister looks large. They're both like that. No, maybe. They're both sitting high up. The blister should be glued right over the Honda. So, they're, they're both sitting high up, which is interesting. But we have a pair of black CRX. And, oh, there's a white one in here, too. Oh, yeah, see, this one's lower. Or, white. This is red. What the heck? See, this one's lower. Another very nice casting. It's the same casting. I like the red release. Thanks, Mr. Mike. Let's see. And then we got a loose car. 
that you didn't put on the cards. It's okay. This is a Shelby GT500 from 1968. This is one that I wanted to customize. I think maybe remove the decals off of it. See if this blue is an original color on there. Uh, if the blue is very similar. Maybe. I don't know. I have to look. I think they're white, most of them. Or darker blue. But I think this looks really good. This would look really good if I removed the black t decals and put... And left the wheels black. I think it would look good. Blue and the black. I'm going to line them up here. And keep going here. We got a... Ooh, not stopping with the great castings. We got the Nissan 300ZX Twin Turbo. One of my favorite castings, again, from the past couple of years of Hot Wheels. The 300ZX. In this blue color, it looks very good. Oh. Definitely, definitely a highlight here. I was like I'm opening a case... Here we have this Jaguar F-Type Coupe. This is a cast, this is a release that I wanted, but I can never find in the store. So I did remember him asking me if I wanted this, so I'm like, oh yeah. It looks really good. Matchbox sure knows how to make a Jaguar. They don't do a lot of Jaguar, sadly, though. Very nice. Now here is a 67 Chevelle from, uh, this is the X-Racers. So this is an older, I don't think the X-Racers is around anymore. It says 2017. I think it might be a bit newer than that because... Uh, this might be a 19, actually. This is a 2019. Alright, oh, it's a treasure hunt, too. Well, that's a surprise. Yeah, it's a treasure hunt. Alright. Yeah, I didn't know that was in here. Very nice. Thanks, Mike. You know what? It's a treasure hunt. We gotta keep it up. And, oh yeah, I want to try my hand at customizing one of these. We have a 83 Silverado. I think he hoards these. <laughs> I mean, it, it's a, he has a lot of these, I think. And oh, why wouldn't you? It is a very solid casting. Heavy, very heavy. And they are just fun to customize. I see a lot of people, including Mike, do great work with these things. And, uh... I want to try my hand out at lifting one. So maybe put like a stock right height. I dig it. And then we have Dodgy Bond. You can't go wrong with them. I've seen people like converting these into a stock van. Which also looks cool. So I might try that with this one. And they've like painted the roof body color. So maybe I can do it like all white. Maybe put some matchbox wheels on there. Paint the roof white. Paint the interior brown. Keep the bumpers, or not brown, black. Keep the bumpers chrome. We could probably leave those rear louvers. Yeah, I think I can make that a killer van. We'll try. And here we have a Ford GT, 2017 Ford GT. I, I think I have the original in blue, and that's it. So this uh, red one is pretty sweet. I, I don't think I ever saw this one when it was actually in store. Very 
very nice, very clean with the white stripes, and it kind of like a, what's the word? It's kind of like an homage to the original GT40s. Or not GT, well, yeah, the GT40s. It's, it, they, they had stripes, didn't they? I know XLT knows. I'm not, I don't know my Fords that well, obviously. And then here's another loose car. This is the Mustang. So yeah, this one I thought I could remove the decals on it too. And then just do very simple headlight and tail light painting. And we can make it a pretty, pretty mean looking Mustang, I'd say. I think this is a 2015, yeah, 2015. It's a solid casting from Hot Wheels. Probably one of my favorite Mustangs from them. The new GT500s are nice too. And oh, we have a, so it's a trifecta here. Of eight six, the Toyota A E six. What was that? I just knocked something over behind me. Uh, yeah, the Toyota A E A six. We have a blue one and then two black ones. Fun cars to customize right here. Might remove the decals on one of these black ones and have like a plain black eight six. I have the. Where is it? Oh, there's the, the black one with the gray trim that I did. And then I want to do like a Drift King's car. The white with the black, or no, white with the green hood. Uh, Drift King. That's a Kichiro Suchia. A Kichiro Suchia, yeah. So we can try to replicate his car. That'd be fun. Putting them back in the box so we can show off the uh, what he did with the dividers here. But these are um, cars that I was very excited for. I love to restore cars. You guys know that. So. Something like this is just perfect. I think he found it in a storage unit. This is a Majorette. It's a Benz. What's it? A 5 SL? 500 SL. And we're going to restore it. Needs one bad. Wheel swap it. Yeah, that would look great. And the other one is right here, next to it, in a Ford Mustang GT card. Let's just pull this one off. This one, I don't... It's a S-Class. I was thinking of doing them, um, I could do them both silver maybe. I want to paint the windows black on this. Uh, definitely needs a wheel swap. Definitely. But these are very solid castings, and I think I, I can uh, improve them, especially in the condition they're in. And then, oh yeah, the Datsun. I almost forgot about this one. I was very excited for this, and I almost forgot about it. So we'll just take care of the card this one has lost its wheels and is in very dirty very bad shape perfect for a transformation now just what color to do it I've already done a blue one very nice blue one so now I gotta figure out what color I want to do that and oh here's the gladiator he stuck this one back on the card. This is a Dollar General exclusive, too. I didn't realize that until now. 
I forgot. Well, I, I saw it in Dollar General the other day, and I realized it was an exclusive. So he did get three of these and wheel swapped, and we took the chrome wheels off. So this has the gray wheels from the original. And I have had the idea to customize it. It's already got the gray wheels on it. And I want to paint it like the same gray as those wheels, because the, there are real ones like that. And then paint the top black. So that will look really good. Maybe paint up the motorcycles too. I don't know. But yeah, we can do a nice gray like the Z. Like my Z here. Do gray like that. That will look cool. So there's the gladiator. And then, oh yeah, we're cracking this one too. This is a Supra. Let's check that out. He wheel swapped it because uh, he got he kind of annoyed at the uh, Mitch Match Mitch Match Mix Match wheels. He wheel swapped it, and I think it looks great. So now I'm going to finish the job here. I'm going to remove the decals. I'm going to try to. It's a red car. We'll see. Do some headlight details, some taillight details, and we'll have a nice super, a su Supra. Oops. We're getting out of room here. At least there's one car left. This is the Nissan R30 GTI. That you can you put some big wheels on the back there. Um, but I this doesn't look half bad with the dark wheels. I might need to find another set because I don't like the rear wheels that are so big. Another very nice casting from Hot Wheels. I lo I have a bunch of these now. So that, that is my package from Mr. Mike Dyson. Thank you. And he'll, he shall be getting his soon, if not already. And I'll show you what he did with the box. Oh, okay. I'm going to tangle up my cord here. Just chuck it on this side. So he put these dividing tabs in it to make it real easy to store cars. So you can see they have these cardboard dividers. So it makes it real easy to store the cars in there. So that will be very helpful to for storage, as I have a ton that could go in there. So it looks like I have some custom work to do uh, for the next couple of weeks. So uh, we can stay tuned for updates. I don't. I still have to do a nice big video for all my custom work. So, Mr. Mike, we we almost got it at 20 minutes. It's 23 minutes. Uh, not, not bad. I thought I was gonna do worse. So, thanks for watching, guys. Thank thanks for my thanks, Mike, for sending these over. Very cool stuff. And, uh, yeah, I'm really excited to get my hands on working on some of these. And I'll keep you guys posted with the restorations and all that. So th thanks, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.